Hello, it's Nicolette. The day has arrived. You're getting the Paris apartment tour. Don't peek yet. We're going to go through all of it, all 35 square meters of it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, we're going to do a proper tour, meaning we're starting at the front door. It's very loud. <laughs> Always literally pitch black. Ta-da! The entryway. This is prime storage space in a Parisian apartment. Got my coat rack here with all of my winter coats because, honey, we are no longer in California, no longer in the south of France. We need these. Clothes here. And everything else. I somehow managed to touch this other thing in there. Very proud of myself. Are you ready to enter? the main room. This is a studio, so there's one <laughs> main room. It's still like in the range of those Ikea living in X amount of square feet, but honestly, it feels really spacious. And I think that's because of the natural light. Here she is. I am in love with this apartment. It is absolutely everything I wanted. It has hardwood floors, which I wanted, white walls, tons of natural light. It's not even super bright today, so this is this is not <laughs> the max capacity for natural light. So this is the living room as well as the study slash office. My work area here. I also like to work here just like on the floor on one of these poofs. I did so much rearranging of furniture. I spent like multiple nights just changing the furniture position to figure out what was the best flow and maybe i'll show before pictures of what this looked like before because it was so different when my landlord walked in she almost didn't recognize the apartment she was like oh whoa like what did you do wow okay this works this works over here divided by this lovely wall divider is um the bedroom I do love this divider because it separates the bedroom. You know, the bedroom is not a separate room, but it feels almost like a separate room. Speaking of separate rooms, there is a separate bathroom. The first apartment I looked at was a Chambre de Bonne on the top floor, and the toilet was shared with seven-ish people. Not even seven people, seven apartments. One toilet for seven apartments. It was pretty horrendous. So one of the things on my list was I wanted the toilet in the apartment and preferably like a totally like separate closed off room because there are also apartments where the toilet is just like in your living room. See, this even has like two rooms in the bathroom. Uh, you got the toilet there, got the sink if it will focus. Hello. There used to be a bathtub here apparently and they added the shower in but they didn't add glass. So I always have to have towels here when I take a shower because the water just exits. But you know, she works, she works. The shelf that I moved in from the living room, still organizing this, still wanna make it pretty. You know, store my vacuum here. It's a big bathroom, you know? Okay, are we ready for the kitchen? Ta-da! I'm trying to become a plant person. I'm not amazing with plants, but you know, we added them, we added them and we're trying. I fell in love with this table the second I saw it. It's I think from the 60s, late 60s. It has this little utensil drawer. This apartment came with so much kitchen stuff. Now I brought, I brought this with me, a little toaster oven, cause there is no, as you can see, there's no oven. Got my tiny fridge with like literally no freezer space. I can fit one thing, like a tray of ice cubes. Tons of storage space though, lots of storage space. This came with so many plates and bowls, more than I could use. Gotta have some dinner parties, you know? Cups, plates, the shelf, very useful, very useful. Um, please ignore this. Yes, it does kind of look like a child size coffin, um, very morbid. I haven't found a spot for it yet. I don't know where to put it. It's the, the box I used to transport this neon piece that I made. So it's, it's, it's necessary until I sell it or exhibit it somewhere. So for now it's living next to this 
plant. All right, are we ready for the crown jewel of this apartment, which is the balcony and the view? This, this is what sealed the deal. Not that the deal needed any sealing. Look at this view. The fact that this is my view. Oh. For like two years, I had been saying, my next apartment is gonna have a balcony. It's gonna have a balcony. That was the dream and it came true. The dream came true. I have a balcony. It has a view of the Sacre Coeur because yes, I'm in the 18e arrondissement, the 18th, which is not in Montmartre, but let me tell you, it's like, two, three blocks from Montmartre. So I basically live there. When I go for walks, I can walk in that neighborhood and it is a dream come true. That has been my dream neighborhood ever since I came to Paris when I was 18, I think. Yeah, for the first time ever, I came, I was 18 years old. I walked around this neighborhood and I said, I wanna live here one day. And now I'm living here. <laughs> you can also see through the kitchen window as well. There she is. Um, oh, also got a little meditate. This is, <laughs> can you tell that I'm ADHD because this apartment tour clearly is just all over the place. Let me get more in detail here. Here is my, what I call my meditation corner. I've got these little, this little cushion that I can pull out and put on the floor. I meditate here in the morning. Half of my bookshelf here, half my books are here. The other half is in that hallway cabinet. I have a TV now? Like this apartment came with a TV. I haven't had a TV for years. What else? Oh yeah, dresser. Very necessary because I can't fit all my clothes in the hallway closet. Then putting, slowly putting up some posters. This is my Antonioni poster that I love. Also probably on the top 10 list is Rushmore. I'm in love with this little Rushmore map. Uh, so I had to hang this. My John Giorno poster, picture of my sister, any pictures of my sister, my favorite person in the world. She also made me this adorable book of pictures of us when we were little, which I love. This is the first of many videos, okay? I just wanted to, so many people were asking me for an apartment tour, so we, we finally did it. We got it, we got it over with, check, okay? Let me know what other videos you want next uh, because I would love to document my time here in Paris and the journey of making the city my home, my new home.